Hello, everyone. <clears throat> Sam is here from creativetradingsystems.com. Yeah, uh, last couple of days, um, very sick, but uh, getting better now. And thank God, uh, tomorrow, Wednesday, so I'll be able to do the webinar at 4. I will send out the uh, uh, invitation uh, tonight sometime, or maybe in the morning. My son will do it. Uh, so anyway, I just want to make this video because I made this chart. Uh, this chart of uh, GJ Kaunian, and I posted on the Telegram, remember? So what happened that this is what I was showing here, that this thing is going to drop here. But it went up, and it went up a lot, right? So um, I got an email that what the heck happened, right? Was well, this a new um, uh, subscriber? So uh, I, I decided to make a video out of this, and so because I took the trade. Uh, and a long trade on this one, right? But what is the reason? Uh, and uh, what is our uh, main, uh, you know, uh, the, the set of rules that we uh, apply uh, in this, uh, you know, strategy, whatever, so our <clears throat> system, right? So let me show you this, that this is a, one of the diagram, but uh, let me see if I have it open here. If not, then I'll quickly open it. And it will be something like, uh, the uh, uh, not this one, it's just too small. Let's say this one, right? So, this is um, another diagram showing the possibilities. So, this is uh, like, for example, a uh, I mean, sorry, the black counter X, A, B, and C. This is the point C at 23% line, but we do have an option there couple of options. One option is that it's going to drop here and then make a harmonic pattern, either Gertley or Bat or Bertley, right? My creation is Bertley. It's a mix match, right? Between Gertley and Bat. So, and then it will go up or it will directly go up from here. So 23% line is the key line, key number. When, uh, the, the, you know, it concerns... Um, uh, what should I say about the Fibonacci? If you are, you know, uh, trying to use the Fibonacci, this is the most important number uh, when you draw the Fibonacci in any direction, in anywhere. Okay, just pay attention to this 23% line. This will give you a very, very solid uh, trade, a turning point. So anyway, so this one, uh, let me show you the, the diagram that I posted here. Uh, this one, based on the same thing, the point C was at 23% line after making it 70%, 78%, right? But I posted this diagram. I forgot to post uh, the, the other one, but we all know that. You know? That's the thing. You should know that that either you're going to go down and make the girl clip uh, or butterfly pattern or whatever, whatever, you know, whatever the pattern. So the 23% line or 38% line in case of 78% B pullback, uh, usually two options. One, it will make the pattern and then go, or it will just follow the Elliott wave count and go straight up, right? So this is what happened. Now, how do we know that it's going to go down or go straight, right? So if you pay attention, uh, I, I always teach this, that um, on a 40-minute chart that I made, and I'm showing a turning point, so how we go by with that? We must have a... Uh, a reversal candle on a, 20, a 40 minute chart. And then the first entry would come from seven minute chart. And if you don't want to take it, then wait until you get a 20 minute entry afterwards. Uh, for example, if 40 is bouncing from here, so this first blue candle is a reversal candle. Actually, before that, it's a white candle. Um, let me show on the live chart here. So, for example, we were here at that time, right? So, uh, uh, let me open it up a little bit. So, you see, when you have something all the way down and then going up with this white line, this is this white candle is a reversal candle. Let me open up a little bit more. You see that? This was the reversal candle. So, at least one reversal candle, if we get that, then you know that it is probably going to make the turn. Then we will go on a seven-minute chart and wait for the entry. If not, then, or if you if you get it, you take it. And then if you don't want to take it, then you wait until 
the price moves up and then give you a 20 minute entry like this one and then you take it right so we were here at that time um let me go back here on the 40 minute let me shrink it back okay so at the time i made that uh diagram here this one you see that we were here 63 or 4 this is where we were and I'm going to show you that 6304 is right there. So we were right there. Now, you notice that we never got a reversal candle here to the downside. We should have a candle like this, the black candle. That's a reversal candle. See this black candle? And after that, we got red, 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 red. So we must have one here. And then you start following the seven-minute chart, make an entry from here. Somewhere there, and then or twenty minute chart, you probably get the twenty minute chart uh, entry like here, like this one here. So you go f this much, and then you get an entry here. Now, what happened here exactly? Let's take a look. Uh, this one was on uh, early twenty seventh, which was Monday, right? <clears throat> uh, late Friday and or early Monday. So let me show you the twenty minute chart. What really happened there? Now you can see here. This is the ending, 24 ending, which is completely bullish. And then we got, the, again, the entry here on 27, around 9 p.m. Before that, we had an entry, long entry here, long entry here, no short entry on the 20-minute chart. And obviously, the 7-minute chart was out of the question because we never got a reversal candle. If you don't have a 40-minute reversal candle, you don't even look the seven minute chart that's out completely out of the question <clears throat> now here this one you see that's why i took this one and then let me show you the entry chart here you see this is the exact entry here the 6304 it bounced it dropped but never made a reversal candle on a 40 minute chart so my chart was from 40 minute not 20 minute this is 40 minute right and 6304 was in the 23% line as you know, the same same area. And I supposed to have a, a reversal candle to go down first. Reversal. See, every time it makes the turn, it makes the reversal candle first. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then followed by either here, the reversal candle, and then red, red, red. Here, going up, a reversal candle. A reversal candle is the one that closes from the top. It closes below the last candle. From the bottom, it closes above the last candle. Okay, that's the reversal candle. But we never had here. So no short. And then if you get along, and especially in the uh, uh, volume time, you simply take it. Now, once you take that, then what do we do? So we, I took this entry here after a couple of blue candles. says, okay, it's not going down. Forget about it. It's going up. So it starts to go up. And then... You know, right around here, I came and, and I, you know, like I mo start moving my SL behind the price and then I'll sit on the break even nice and clean. Now the game starts off uh, finding the target. So how is the target is being found here in my system or any system? You can, you know, use the same strategy and say same rules to find the the, uh, the target. See, now here I wrote down the 60-day average daily range of this pair, pound, yen, right now. 60-day average is coming um let me just wanted to make sure that i'm recording it uh so it, it is right now it's 187 187 188 you know between 140 uh, 185 and 190 that's the daily range of that that means from the top to bottom in one day each giving day it moves around 190 pip okay Average, sometimes more, sometimes less, sometimes 60, 70, 170, 160, 170, sometimes even 200, 210, 220. Yeah. So you see this white dotted line, this is the day started here. So day started here. So the lowest point was this. So I marked this with yellow. And the highest point from here to there, 187. Let me just go here and then show you that, you know, 187 pip comes where this was the low my entry point was the low also not entry point entry point is there but this was the low so 187 you can see here that this is the top here this high was 187 
that was a daily range. Now you notice that um, my entry was a little bit up here. So let me see. So my entry from here and there. So that is total of 146. So this is somewhere here. I close my trade around 145. So if you know, and if you are aware of this uh, daily range game, this is the indicator that shows the daily range. You can see here, this average 60-day range is 186. So now a previous day range, yesterday, this pair did 240. A lot, a lot more than the daily range. Sometimes it does only, you know, maybe like 160, 170, sometimes less than the average. But average comes out. 180, uh, 87 pip, right? So that's where when we get we're close, and that that's how I hold the trade. You should hold the trade until it goes all the way to close to your daily range. <coughs> Excuse me. So I, my entry was here. So from my entry point, right? From my entry point to exactly where it was at the time of closing, I recorded the chart and I closed the trade, and it was 140 pip. Right, right just above that was the end of the daily range. It could have gone more, but I don't care, right? Because 100, more than 100, anything is better than uh, uh, anything, right? <laughs> so uh, 100, even 70, 80, if you, if, let's say if you forget to take the entry here and you take this entry, right? So now the daily range is getting finished here anyway. So maybe from your entry to here, maybe like, 40, 50 pip, you got to close it because the daily range is about to end. I got 140 because uh, my entry was way ahead of the game. You know? I mean, too early, you know, from, uh, you know, I had the whole uh, daily range to squeeze, right? And that's what it is. If you make an entry from here, maybe 100 pip trade, you have to close. From here, maybe 60. From here, maybe see only 40, 50, right? But I got the entry here. That's why I hold all the way here, 140 pip. Close, bye bye. The next day, Benadryl got me, so <laughs> I was completely sleeping, got knocked out. Uh, my cold was very, very bad, and I, I just couldn't do anything. Otherwise, you know, there was like a nice and clean from here. That was another 140, 50 pip trade. But, you know, no regret. You know, whatever you can get, that's it. And uh, don't look for, uh, you know, just to squeeze everything because we can't. So, anyway. This is what happened. Wait, hold on. Okay. Uh, so that's what I wanted to show that, yeah, 40 minute charts, uh, straight setups are the turning points, expected turning points. If we make the turn and if we have a reversal candle, then you go your either seven minute. And if you don't want to be that fast, right? And you want to go to you know more conservative uh, type of uh, trading to you know then go for a twenty minute chart and then wait for your twenty minute entry which you will probably get in a couple of hours right so when you have it like for example here uh, going to the upside this indicator in, indicator is going to the upside then you have a reversal candle you have a blue candle you have alarm beeping then what do we do. We relax and we, you know, there is no uh, entry point here. It's just the alarm that we might be going to the upside. So if we are going to the upside, then we must get a 20-minute entry. Like, for example, this one, it starts to go so right here. It made the 20-minute entry, 20-minute entry, it goes. This is, you know, it is not entry here, but it is an entry on the 20-minute chart. Um, here, similar, exactly the same thing. It starts to go up, then, you know, this is, it dips here. It just makes the 20-minute entry again from here, 20-minute entry, gone. Okay? So this is why uh, I went long. I see this one, 20, this one, 20, and then uh, before this dip, again, beautiful, see? It was start to go up, 20-minute entry, long, 20-minute long, 20-minute long, keep going. So this is the game between the 40-minute chart and the 20 minute chart and of course seven minute as well uh if you want to be a little bit you know fast uh, and then squeeze uh, almost every pip <laughs> out of the thing i rather you know take it easy and then just you know trade the or get the fat part of the move right if the move is 200 you get 70 80 100 pip trade that's fine if, if the move is like 100 150 uh, I usually trade most of the pairs that I trade, you know, Euro Aussie, Pound Aussie, Pound Yen, you know, Pound Cat, Pound Nuzi. They have their uh, daily range is like more than 150 pip anyway. 
So uh, if, if the pair is supposed to move around that much from top to bottom, getting 70, 80, 100 pip out of, there, uh, out of that move, that kind of move, is not a problem using the system, right? So just wanted to clarify that, yeah, I was expecting that, but you know the chart supposed to be this, that from this 23% line, right? Either it's gonna come down or go up, but based on what? If you have a long setup, it's not making a, 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 a reversal, short reversal candle, right? Instead of that, you get in the volume time, and then you see that it, you know, it is uh, bullish on the bullish territory, and giving you a long setup, and then going up with the blue candles, get in there, no problem, right? Worse come to worse, it will flip again, then make a reversal candle, then you get in with the seven minute chart, and uh, but you know, with the same time, at the, in, in in the same time, if you uh, watch your weekly chart that I made. The, the weekly chart was uh, the pound, uh, if I have it, look, pound, I made it uh, on February, I gave it to you guys, 11th February, that this thing is going to go all the way up here anyway. It is already, uh, so far it is like here, right? So my weekly chart was telling us that it will be going to the upside around this 67 or 68 uh, area anyway. And so far, how far it is now, let's take a look. Yeah, uh, see, it went up all the way here, then drop, and ho hopefully, maybe it will go up again. I depend on the yen index. If yen is keep getting weaker, then yeah, it will go up. Okay, so just wanted to clarify this little move and then uh, rules uh, because you know new people are always coming in, so um, they get a little bit confused at what the heck. But so my my sending uh, these charts. On the telegram, that doesn't mean that you know you must have uh, a turn coming in. It is just like ahead of time uh, expected turn. There are turning points where you can expect based on Elliott wave and harmonic patterns, SNR level bounce, resistance, turn line bounce, right? So um, yeah, so I post that so that you get ready and put the alarm on. And if you have a reversal candle, then you go and look for your proper entry from the proper entry chart. Okay. I hope it's clear. Even if you don't have any, uh, you know, it, it's not clear. Then if you have still, you have any question in your mind or come, you know, later on, then please uh, email me and I will uh, explain. And if I have to, I'll uh, make a, a, a whole webinar about this again where you can ask the questions if you have in your mind. All right, so let me know. All right, so I'm gonna make this video public so that uh, everybody else knows uh, also. You know, they don't have the system though, but uh, they will know that you know exactly what we are doing here. And uh, it's not just, you know, fake uh, or not fake, but uh, uh, random taking, you know, sell or buy orders, but it is based on uh, proper setting and proper rules and regulations, all right? between the 40 minute and the 20 minute. And of course, our weekly chart helps a lot. All right, so this is it for now. Uh, thanks for watching and have a wonderful rest of the week. Uh, tonight, I will try to stay awake and post on some uh, on the Telegram some of those uh, setups, okay? All right, so bye for now and let me go take a nap.